and welcome back friends to Silent Hunter 4 with me Lord Cucumber this let's play is really getting into the nitty gritty of things um, as you can see from our uh, on our damage screen we have if you can read this 47% hull damage due to my completely irresponsible actions of last parts to two, last two parts I think uh, yeah um, not just that but also, our crewman, uh, Mr. Beatty, was knocked out. But he seems to be okay again. That's cool. I thought he was dead. He was at 0% health. Apparently he was... He was dead, but he's now back. It's a miracle! Where are we exactly? Or did I not, not just save it? No, oh, yes, I did. Ah yes, I need to explain this. <laughs> so we sailed down here to um, to this refueling point and refueled and rearmed, and now we are going to sail back uh, through the Band of Seas, I guess, and then along the north side of New Guinea and back to the Pearl because our ship is just fucked up. If you can say that, I I. I have a tendency of using the F word a lot in this let's play and in this case it's not without reason. Because yes, our ship is completely banged up and wrecked. And I have a cat here meowing loudly. He's not an, at all happy with the fact that I just messed up the ship like that. I should be ashamed of myself. Anyway, I, I swear that Mr. Beatty here was dead last time we saw him. Uh, but apparently, some miraculous uh, load bug got him back to life. Uh, I, I, he must have been, I don't know, unconscious or something. But there was a, a big skull over his portrait. So he was dead as dead as can be. Also, let's see what this guy has. Mr. Lander is back to normal morale. But we are considering taking him off the boat. Because he chickened out in that uh, combat situation we were in last time. Combat situations, several. In any case, right now I'm going to time compress until we get to the band of sea, I guess. I don't know, un until we bump into something. Two thirds ahead, we should uh, take a few days doing that. Tw February 23rd, 1943. Things are dreadfully heating up. We attacked uh, a convoy, as you, uh, as you may have seen in the last uh, part here. And the only two kills we got were a separate uh, boat somewhere along the way here and a, a couple of destroyers pretty cool though it was my first uh, ever destroyer kill in a long time and also I think there was four ships in the books yeah exactly Moyomaya Maru a Haruna Maru apparently we sunk that one I don't know and destroyers and now we've got a ship spotted thing going on here ready 54 long range spotted where is it spotted it's 50 54 degrees out that's to the right okay oh, you guys are seeing stuff that I haven't yet seen this looks like a sailing boat uh, do we have anything like in a sense of a sound signature no sound contact well that generally means it's a sailing boat it's a small convoy heading north northeast at medium speed let's keep going for a little while pressing enter there not plus all right are we closer to it now I don't think we are do we have a smokestack? It's a smokestack thingy. I think I may have seen a smokestack a long way here. 58, right? Right over. The ah, sun glare! No, no, it's a sailing boat. <laughs> Alright. My cat wa really wants attention. I'm not going to give it to him right now. I'm busy. Alright. Keyboard seems to be a little bit off. That's why I'm pressing the enter key instead of the plus on it. Alright, we're overtaking them, and they can just report our our presence, I don't care. There we go. 
Come on, Seth. You're my lucky charm. Get onto the stool, buddy. Stop meowing and just be a nice cat. Tibor. See, I was looking for Timur and I was looking over at the Maluk, uh, Maluka area last time I was looking for Timur, but Timur is right here. Ha! Huh. Who would thought? Alright. Oh man. Cats are really spelling up the house. I'm just gonna do something about that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. And I'm back. And let's just say cucumber versus pungent smell. One nil. Come on, Seth. Stop complaining. It's not dinner time yet, buddy. Ooh, Amboinia. Amboinia, is that a harbor? It is. Oh, Ambo. I think. Radar contact. We have radar contact? We do. It's very fast and it's unknown. <laughs> Uh, we don't need to know it. There's no need. Because I already know what this is. Alright. Let's make a little bit of a... Bit of a corner there. There we go. Surfaced again. Uh, oh. Fuck no! It's oh wait, that's a ship. It's not a. It's not a boat. If it, I mean um, a um, plane, it's a ship. That's actually quite good. Let's see if we can figure out where it's going. Do we know? South, southwest. So it's heading sort of parallel to us. Probably like this. All right. So if we turn our boat to the left, we should be able to check it out before it gets to us. There we go. Then turn the boat, turn the boat. This is about 8 miles, so we're almost in its visual range. I'm just gonna... Ooh, we have a visual? Do we have a visual on it yet? Do we? That would be great. Where is it? Does it have a sound signature? Right. Sound man, tell me if you hear it. No sound contact. That does not provide well for us. No, this thing is just beyond what we can see. We need to see it though. Alright, just go for one third ahead. Really slowly come up on it. How... how... okay. This is about... this is the attack range we need to be in. Providing it will actually go into the... no. Into that range. Alright. Do we have a visual on it now? Do we? Or do we not? Yep, and it has a smokestack, so that is perfect. Alright, go to periscope death. Yes, sir. Periscope death. Alright. I'm just gonna say we're gonna stick to this position. Let's drop down, gentlemen. This thing was, may not have a sound signature now, but it will in a moment. Moving slow, merchants. Long range. Stop the boat for for a bit. There we go. Okay. All right. Apparently, one of my things is still up. This one is. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. And uh, we need this one. And it is where exactly? There it is. It's. It could be a nip on the this. By the size of that bridge, could we be that lucky? Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, w there's something else there that's bugging. 
I'm taking the um, I'm taking this one down for now making sure we are not seen and steam up to our point there right, stop the boat again coming closer now and just let time compression do its job all right, now let's have a look. This could be the thing that will guarantee some degree of success. And it is, no, it's not, an, it's not that, but it is a tanker. It's a fairly big one as well. Or rather small, I'm not sure. But we're gonna check with the recognition manual. It does fly a Japanese flag, so that's perfectly good target for us. Let's see what this does. Landing ship to Haimaru, no. Bizunmaru, no. I have no idea what this is. Yet. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's got that, that thing in the back. Could be this. Could it be this? It is a Nippon Maru. It is a Nippon Maru, I think. Could we be that lucky? Have that little gun up front. And those double stacked thingies in the rear. Oh god, it is a Nippon Maru. Are we lucky or are we lucky? That is an excellent catch. I say so myself. It's a bit like this, I guess. What speed would it be going? We don't know. It's even a bit more like this, I guess. What? Why not? Need more target data? How about this target data? How about now? Three knots. That would be uh, what I expect it to be. We'll need at least two or three torpedoes, I expect, so I'm just going to sense everything shallow. It's carrying fuel, so it's uh, basically a floating bomb. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yes, yes, come forward, please. Please come forward. I'm going to move up a little bit. Yes, one, let it... Okay, stop the boat again. Let it come up. Nope. I mean... Yes. Obviously, in this kind of weather, you don't want to take chances. When it's at 30 degrees, between 30 and 25, we're going to do our second, last measuring. And we're going to open all the tubes here. All of them. There we go. Flood those tubes. Oh, wow. Oh, this, is, this would be the prize of the day, gentlemen rise of the day. Let's just time compress until we hit 35 or somewhat. And there we go. It's coming really close. I don't know where it's... It, it seems to be de deviating somewhat of its course. Let's go tax a wash. It's in this weather it's not going to be a problem. A, that gun might see us though. <laughs> we would not want that. It's probably something like this. Four knots. Yeah, I'll believe that. Yes, 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 yes. I think, yeah, that's about right. Are you still thinking four knots? Five knots. I don't know, man. Is it five knots? You sure? Five knots? What does the computer think? What does our computer think? Oh, our computer thinks this is definitely five knots. Okay, in that case, fire one. And we're gonna wait for a couple of more seconds. And do our next measurement. Okay. Slightly like this now. Five knots, I believe, yeah. Stand by on the third tube, we might need it. 
We might need it. And oh yes. Bang! Oh shit! We will not need that third torpedo. Oh! I told you it was a, a bomb afloat. <laughs> Are we still getting the second impact as well? <laughs> yes! Oh, what a beautiful shot! Yes, uh, yes, Seth, you were my lucky charm, my little kitty cat. Thank you. My cat's meowing with pleasure. I'm meowing with pleasure. <laughs> wow, that's 10,000 tons in the bag. I like it. And we don't need to do this, we need to do this. Take her down. Take us out of here. Two thirds ahead, if you will. And get us back on course. Oh my god, that was just super awesome. Uh, we're not on a course, sir. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. Alright, we're going to go through here. And forget about all of that. Yes, I just want to get the heck out of here now. Oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Alright, I might as well surface. There's nobody could have survived that. Surface the boat. Go on. We still. Oh my god, what a mess. It went up in pieces. Look at that. Nothing left. And we didn't even go to battle stations. That means, that means, nope, nope, you didn't redeem yourself, Master Torpedo Man Lander. The, the regular crew did their job, but you didn't. Dumbass. Ah, yes. We're taking him off the boat once we get to the Pearl. It's just a wuss, really. Alright, tube one and two are ready again. Perfect. Oh. Anyway, did I close the, uh, I don't think I did. Does it really matter if I do? Can I close them now? No, close. Close them all again. Okay. Might help if we don't keep them flooded. <coughs> for speed, you know. Or fuel consumption. I don't know. Alright, so that was the first kill of the day. I, I made up for that 47% damage. Wow. Whoa. That was oil fresh from Japan. Going to, I guess, Surabaya or something. Which is strange because oil would be... No, maybe it was empty. Maybe it was gonna get some oil because Indonesia was a big oil providing area. And that's why the Japanese wanted it. Yeah, I know you want my attention. I'm right here, babe. That cat. Oh, a radar contact. Bearing west-southwest very fast. That sounds like a plane. Yes, Let's dive under. Zero. 202, please. Helmsman. Do the best you can. There we go. Take us down. Come on! Oh, I just had some tea here and refreshed myself. Come on! Yeah, that's better. And we're gonna pass the 200 feet marker now. Good! Once it starts getting dark, pop up again. There we go. And be our merry way. Alright, well, I made up for some of that crap I had before. I'm gonna have to plan where we're going next, I guess. I suppose we could sort of keep on New Guinea. And then head up, up again. Once we hit the um, area here on the right. Somewhat like this. And 
like this. Oh, we've got something. Very fast, unknown. <laughs> Another plane. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, they're sending planes after us. We took 10,000 of their turns. Don't urge! Getting up again. Yep. There we go. And here comes another one. Very fast, northwest. They're looking for us, I'm telling you. They're looking for us, but they're not gonna find us. They're gonna be hiding a lot. There we go. In the evening we can pop back up. It's a nice evening. Wild seas too, look at that. Huh. Okay. <coughs> Got me back to my map. Peering at his map, he saw that the journey home was going to be uneventful. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's look at our total. We, I think we bagged around 16,000 for now. Yeah, somewhere around there. Six, between 16 and 18,000 radar contacts, and that's a plane. Most definitely, just took off from this little island here. Bye. Oh, you won't find us, sir. We'll be long gone. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, no. Get back under. Shit. That's not good. Man, they've, they've intensified the search for me. We have a radar contact again. Bearing 01, 012, long range, slow, unknown. It's a slow and unknown vessel. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I will definitely go and check it, but first I have to get rid of my... buff. This. Alright, stop the boat for a moment. It's going slow, so... We're gonna mark it down for a moment. Easily take it. Here it is. It's right here now. And it's heading down... Like this. Alright. So, I guess it's going like this. So, if we were to go like this and then this, we should be able to intercept it. And is this about 8 miles? That would be nice. Yeah, 7 miles. Good. Alright, let's go ahead full for now. We need to overtake this thing quick. What's this? Large convoy north-north-east fast. Uh, that might actually mess things up. We do not want that. Alright, flank him. Do we see it? No, it's just a radar contact. What kind of weather is it? Single contact. We do not want any of that crap right now. Come on, close the gap. Yep, that's a... There's a little bit of a... A protected... Convoy. There. We're not gonna go for it. Definitely not. There's one thing we're not going for. It's a... It's a convoy. Not right now. Right, yes, let's sir. see if we can measure out a thousand yards here. Oh, that's about a thousand. Cool. Okay. That's totally cool, man. Yes, sir. That's what we're gonna do. We are flanking speed right now. And this weather, the chances of it seeing us is pretty small. So, take me to periscope depth. Oh, very good. Alright, go to two thirds ahead. Slow down. And stop. For now. And one third ahead is fine. Alright, so we're about... Mm, keep going for a little while longer. Okay, stop. I don't know what this is, so we're going to check that first before doing anything else. It is 7 o'clock almost. Tell me where it is. 
289 medium range. And it is another ship we might be able to overtake. I think we will. It, I don't know, but this might be another tanker. No, it's not. It's got the stack in the middle. And I have to wait and see to see what this is. Also, the weather is pretty horrible. But we made it there before it could make it to us, so that's good. Opening tubes. I think we'll need one and two. Just one and two. My favorite tubes. In the world. Alright. Can we... Yeah, we can stick, it, stick to it. I hope. Alright, with this kind of waves, I think I'm gonna, gonna raise 10 feet. Roughly. Let's keep this thing in view. Let's see what this is, shall we? Um, could be this. Actually... Uh, this is the first time right. I think it is. It has this, this kind of bow thing. Akita Maru, it might be that. Could be. Could be. Could be this one as well. Come on, Seth, stop meowing. Stop being such an ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're sweet. Might be this, though. It has that round backside, and it does. It, It is this. I'll be darned. How far away is it? Can we see from the map room? Perhaps... About 1800 yards, and we're 800 yards away from it once it passes. 1800 yards, okay. Let's just get it on angle here. There we go. It's slightly closer now, and now we can see what this ship is made up of. You know, it's got that little deck in the rear. It's definitely this. An Akita Maru. Alright. Now that we know that, we can do the trick that we usually do, which is this. And figure out which way it is heading. It's likely like this, I guess. Five knots. That sounds reasonable. I'm going to wait for it to be on a slightly less weird angle. Beyond the 530 point, 540, there we go. This is a nice point to start measuring for our attack. Is it still... Yeah, it is. It's still unaware of us being here. Still see the front, slightly. 8 knots. Measure it again. 7 knots. Measure it again. 6 knots. 8 knots. 9 knots. 8 knots. 8 knots. 6 knots. What do you what do you think it should be? Huh? Wanna go for 6? Why the heck not? Fire. You sure? might need two torpedoes, you might not. Am I prepared to find out? That's the question. Seven knots might actually be more realistic. We're gonna hit the rear if we're gonna hit anything. Nope, that first one is just a miss. And that's because it was indeed Seven knots. Open up another tube. Oh, it's still, they're still convinced it's going six knots. 
I don't think it is. And this is gonna be a another miss. No. Torpedo impact. All right, give me another. I'm not good night knots. No way. Range it out. No way that it's going nine. A seven is more likely to be the case. Even if if it is going faster than nine, it's slowing down now. Make a nice nice hole in it. So it's almost dinner time for my cats. I guess they're meowing away. Here we go. Go on, torpedo. Oh, it's going too fast. <laughs> Ironically. But still, it's going to hit it at a weird angle. At the front. Oh, beautiful. What a shot. It's got two gaping holes in it. And apparently, she's going down. We did it. All right. Oh, beautiful expo explosions everywhere. Love it. We only lost one torpedo on that one. All right. Good. Take it down. We are going back to what we were doing. We skillfully avoided that armed escort. Because armed escorts with 47% hull are not a good idea. Alright, I'm gonna take a short break. Try to clean up our house for a bit. <laughs> because the smell is becoming rather overwhelming right now. So, I'll see you guys in a moment. There we go. All cleaned up. Uh, if you've got a chronically sick cat, you have the risk of her messing up your house. In the, this case, nope. She was perfectly fine, but uh, her uh, poop just really smells bad. It's like that song from Friends, Smelly Cat. If you know that song, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm prepared to make one more pass along the Bismarck Sea here, and then we're going to cut north. Oh, and here goes our target. Look, 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 bye. Oop. I keep doing that, I keep pressing escape, and I don't know why. Can we get to see the uh, ship go down? No, no. No. I don't know why, but apparently the ship uh, yes, just uh, yes, go on, yes, turn the course. Yes, there we go, we're up again, and they're down, and we're up and down, and happy, jumping all around. Let's see, were you on, s on duty? No, you're still word on duty, so you still suck, Sonny. Your morale was broken. You got Mr. Beatty into a catatonic state where we thought he was dead. It's your fault. Alright, battery's been recharged. Single contact, long range. Let me guess, it's a uh, an airplane. It is an airplane. What a surprise! We're gonna duck under. There we go. That's how you do that. And then surface again. And it's a small convoy heading east northeast. Slow. It's a radar contact, and it's very likely not to be anything interesting. Hello. Come on, Seth. Stop meowing. Just sit down next to me. All right, let's see if we can make out smokestacks. Zero. Zero. 
74, so that's around here somewhere. I don't see them yet. Which is just as well if they are, like, not sailing ships. Enemy task force, where? Can we see them now? I wonder if we can. Slow down. I don't wanna Wait a minute, is this thing still up? No, it's not. Oh, good. Okay. Um, what am I doing here? Let's see, do we see them? No. Any sound contacts, maybe? Nothing yet. Nothing we can hear, apparently. Maybe we should stop for a moment. Let them come closer to us. We hear something now. Wait a minute, we hear something? It's a small convoy heading east now. And we heard them. So that means it's got they've got engines. And you know what that means, people. That means we are going after them. We're gonna check them out. See what the heck's going on. They changed course. And I don't know if they did that on purpose. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, they're heading well, yes, straight sir. east. Yes, sir. Got me two-thirds ahead full. Can we see their smokestacks now? They're almost on, on us. No, not yet. We can hear him. That's good news. I guess. Alright, so if you're going east-southeast, they're, oh, they're deviating to the south now. This might be a patrol. We might not want to want to come too close. Yes, sir. And how far away are they from us? About 9,000 yards. Okay, well, we're going to try and get a little closer so we can make some sort of visual contact. Not too fast now. Okay. Going parallel to them now. Can we mi figure out what it is yet? No, not yet. The fact that they're going slow, though, is a big plus to me. If they are destroyers, they're going to hear me, and they're going to pop up right in my path. Okay, my, ba my battery is now fully recharged. And what have we got? Can we see them yet? Where are they? Sound man, you heard something just now. No sound contact. But there they are. And they look like merchants. Two of them. Perfect. In that case, we are going to be doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we're going to mark their positions right here. Bang. Bang. That's one and two. And we'll go. Oh shit, we're under attack. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Take us down, if you will. They're firing on us. They've got guns, and they've seen us. That was just really scary here. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What is going on here? Take us down now. Alright, that might be that might have been cruisers. That might have been cruisers. If they are indeed heading east now towards us, that might have been it. What's the damage? Holy crap, they hit our control room. Okay. Not good. Not good at all. Uh oh god, the hydraulic pump is down. Um that's definitely not good because that actually determines how deep we can go. Give me periscope depth, if you will. Go two thirds ahead. Take it really slowly. If these things are going to come towards me, that's it.
Don't do that to me, game. Shit. Don't. Really. Man, but that was one heck of an ace gunner if it was a merchant. Holy crap. Man. Alright, this is what they're doing now. They're spreading out. Somewhat. I guess they don't want to come close to us. Which is completely understandable. And that's 40 something yards. Okay. So this one is going like this. Somewhat. <coughs> now we're gonna flank up on them. Come on. I need to be in an attack range to do anything. Holy crap, that wasn't that was really an ace shot. Best shot I've had in a very long time on on my hull. Alright, but fine. Um yes, uh, okay, no, just no two thirds will do. Two thirds will do. Alright, get my scope up. Get it up. I wanna see where it is. I wanna hear where it is. Is it a warship? Merchant, medium fifty three closing. Yeah, you're gonna be it, buddy. Shit. You cost off.